Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin, and this is Demos with Angular. Today I want to show you really how easy it is to take an existing Angular application that you've built uh, and ship it as an installable application on a mobile device using Cordova. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an existing Angular application that I have uh, already built out. Uh, you can actually see this application on the web with fidget.fluin.io where you can see it's a fidget spinner. So I spin it, it spins around, you can stop it. So it's got a little bit of physics behind that. Uh, it's a really, really simple application. If we look here, it's a CLI application. You can see in source app, we have a single module, single component, single HTML, uh, all relatively straightforward. And so I'm gonna jump back to the terminal here and I'm gonna do a couple things. So I already created this project, so we're I'm assuming you're taking an existing project and doing this, but it's very easy to do if you're creating a new project as well. Uh, and I globally installed something called Cordova. So I yarn global add Cordova. This should just work because this was already installed. Uh, and then the other thing I've done is I've uh, downloaded and set up the Android SDK, because uh, I'm gonna be deploying to an Android app. Uh, if you wanted to deploy to an iOS application, you need, need to have Xcode, all of those appropriate tools. Um, one of the easiest ways to install the Android SDK is actually to set up Android Studio, because um, as part of that setup process, it's gonna install and manage uh, the SDK for you. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run uh, something called Cordova Create, and I'm gonna just name this project Mobile. And so what this does, it's just like ng-new, but it's gonna create a project uh, for Cordova. So if we cd into our new mobile folder, we'll see we've got a config.html. This is where all of our configuration is gonna live. Um, for example, what we want the app to be called, what we want the logo to be, uh, who we want the author to be. All this is really important when you're gonna be shipping it out to Google Play, uh, when you wanna have a nice custom icon on the uh, platforms that you're shipping it onto. Uh, but I'm also going to be taking a look at this www folder because that's actually where Cordova serves its files from. So I'm actually, instead of diving into it and modifying it, I'm just going to delete it entirely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a link where I'm going to point to the dist folder that Angular is going to generate whenever I do a production build and then point that to www. Let's get that right, ln-s dist www. Uh, so now what happens is when I do uh, an ng build dash prod of my Angular application, that is going to be rendered out to the dist folder, just like a normal application, because I don't want to modify any of my existing tool chain, any of my existing processes. Uh, but now I'm going to go ahead and see that if we go into the slash mobile slash www folder, we're going to see the exact same thing. So uh, as soon as we finish the 92% chunk asset optimization here, we should see a www folder show up uh, just like we expect with all of the kind of production built version of our files. Um, so we see our disk folder here, and if we hit refresh in VS Code, we'd probably see www. So this is a sim link. We're gonna see all of our normal Angular application. And I'm gonna to need to make one change here. So normally we have a base of just slash, uh, and I need to change this to dot slash because where I serve my Angular application from the base of a domain, uh, the, the root of a domain, uh, we're actually serving from a existing file system on Android. So it's gonna be files slash folder slash other folder slash our application. And so changing this base to dot slash means that it's gonna work on mobile. So now we've got an application, we've got a set of files that have been built for production that are ready to go live on our phone. So let's go to our mobile project. Um, we're gonna need to tell Cordova what type of platform we're gonna add. So we're gonna say Cordova uh, platform add Android. Uh, so this is using the Cordova project. Uh, it's gonna make sure that I have my SDK set up appropriately, that it has all the right versions of everything. Uh, and then it's gonna add all the necessary plugins that they're doing to do the native interfaces for Android. Uh, this should be pretty quick here. Um, this also means that if I wanted to now extend my application uh, and take advantage of some of those Cordova APIs, I could do that. Um, I would want to maybe add Cordova back to the main project to do that. Uh, but this is done. So now we should just be able to run Cordova run Android. So this is telling Cordova, hey, uh, go and build the application according to the config.xml file and the www folder that you've got uh, all set and ready to go. It's gonna go ahead and do all of those normal Android compilation steps, so the, the Gradle build, because uh, shipping everything down to a web view, down to a, a application that can run, starting with kind of the, the Java Kotlin JVM side of things. Uh, and then if I take a look at my phone, we can see that the application seems to have been built successfully. And I'll just switch back the video here. We see now we have a fidget spinner on my mobile device. If I spin it, you can see that it's gonna spin there. 
uh, and we even get an app in the uh, an icon on the launcher. So uh, just like a PWA, this is a really great way of wrapping our Angular application. But the nice thing now is that I can ship this into the Google Play Store, into the App Store, um, if I want to achieve a uh, presence in those App Stores, which really just takes the Angular code that I'm already writing and makes it go further. So that was how to take a Angular application and ship it onto a installed mobile device using something like Cordova. Uh, thanks. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.